Back in familiar territory for up-and-coming Kiwi driver Peter Vodanovic. The 16-year-old Auckland is one of just eight drivers selected for this year's Elite Motorsport Academy in Dunedin. But unlike his fellow drivers, Vodanovic got his first taste of motorsport online. Yeah, so it actually all started in simulator racing. And believe it or not, I was sitting in my garage early in the mornings and late at nights and improving my skills until my parents told me off and then that, that's really where it all started. Esports is playing a bigger part in motorsport with Formula One recently jumping on board with an official series and while esports are expected to generate billions of dollars of revenue in the next few years, Vodanovic says he's come into camp as the underdog. Everyone I'm racing against have all started when they were quite young at four or five years old, all started with the parents and go-karting so I'm, I'm definitely the odd one out. But his fellow academy drivers believe he's just the tip of the iceberg. Pete's a good example, it, it can be done and I'm sure there's going to be a lot more other people that have and can do it. Uh, you know, with the Gran Turismo and the, the academy they do as well, which is pretty, pretty impressive, you know, that they put full faith in people that are in a simulator to put them in a race car and nine times out of ten they, they do a pretty good job. But the simulator is only one part of an intensive week for students who are put through their paces as they try to make it as pro drivers public speaking training, media training and now we've ramped it up into our nutrition training side of it and our simulator training that's going to be for me later on in the day. It all adds up to giving the drivers the tools they need to continue New Zealand's proud motorsport legacy. And they need in the South today.